What's good everyone? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about why you shouldn't start a business in 2023. This might come as a shock to you but I'll give you my reasons why and I'm just going to be talking from experience as well so you're free to go ahead and try it. I'm not telling you not to, I'm not telling you to to never try it but I'm just telling you my experience why I think it's better to become a high ticket setter or an appointment setter um, excuse me a high ticket setter or a high ticket closer when you're just starting out in 2023 so let's get straight into this first reason why is and just to give some context i used to run a coaching business for about one i think one year one and a half years and shut that down i started working as a setter and think life has been good since then so the first reason why things have been better this way for me personally is because i only need to worry about one thing and obviously that's going to be booking calls I don't have to worry about sales. I don't have to worry about client fulfillment as much, although I am helping out in that department. But if you're just starting out as a beginner setter, they're not expecting you to handle all that. They're just expecting you to do one thing. And if you're a setter, flood their calendar. That's all you need to worry about. And if you're a, if you're a closer, just worry about closing deals. That's it. You don't need to worry about client fulfillment. You don't need to worry about coming up with a different offer. You don't have to worry about competition. You don't need to worry about any of this stuff that the founder has to worry about in order to stay ahead. You're just there to fill, fulfill the job and get paid at the end of the day. So that's the first thing. You only need to worry about one thing. And especially if you're starting out, you can't handle, some of you can't handle that stress. Some of you can't handle that brain power. So this is a good way to get your feet wet in the door. And if you feel like that's you, then definitely go for it. Definitely become a um, master one skill at a time first. The second thing is competition. Now, I'm not saying that you can't get ahead of the competition if you're starting out. But what I am saying is there's a lot more competition. That's for sure. There's more agencies, there's more coaches, there's more consultants. And what comes with that is plenty of really good offers, but also really bad offers. We're seeing a, what I've been seeing lately is an 80-20 split of the 20% the of, of coaches, consultants, agency owners in the industry are getting 80% of the clients and vice versa. So if you want to get in the game and actually become really successful, you need to be up in that 20%. And chances are, if it's your first year in business, you're not going to make it, unfortunately. You're not going to have that um, that foresight to create such a good offer, have that marketing channel dialed in, booking calls dialed in, everything dialed in. You're just going to be swept away by the competition, and there's nothing wrong with that. What you can do instead is become a high-ticket setter or, or, or a high-ticket closer, get that experience in the 20% like of a business in that 20% split who's already crushing it, who's already making millions per year, and learn from there like learn under the wing see how it works and then if you want to start your own thing you're more than welcome to but now you've got the experience because you've been there you've, you've literally seen it firsthand so that's the second thing competition the third thing is supply and demand so there's been more supply than ever i mean excuse me there's more there's been more than demand there's more there's been more demand than jesus christ more demand than ever for setters and closers so why not be part of the supply and become one right as i said earlier it relates back to the point of people wanting to become well obviously there's more competition there's more agency owners there's more coaches consultants there's more business owners obviously not all of them are going to be good but as there's more competition as there's more people participating starting their business more are going to be crossing that 10 to 15 to 20k range which is around the time when they're starting to look for a closer or a setter so therefore the demand is going to be higher so part of that supply, it's it's the classic, um, shot like gold and shovel analogy, where you don't want to look for gold and try and sell gold. You want to be looking, for, you want to be selling shovels so that the people who want to dig for gold, you know, you're making money off them. So that's that's number three, supply and demand. And then the last thing is sustainable raising of standards. So this is what I mean by that. If you're starting off in your first year of business. There's going to be times, and most of the time, this was me personally, I would have times when I'd have like, I'd sign like a whale client, make thousands of dollars in one day, and my standard would just go way up here. And then there's other times when I'd go for like, I'd have a drought, basically, I'd have, I'd go like six months, eight months without a client. That's how inconsistent I was. So it'd be a lot of ups and downs. And what you want to be doing instead, if you're a business owner, the, the right way to do it when you're raising your standards is a gradual raising of your standards, not an up and down, up and down. Because what's going to happen is, let's say you make, let's say you make 5k in one day, you sign a 5k pay in full. 
because that's only happened a few times where this is the only time it's happened and you know who knows if you can do it again hopefully you can but this is the only time it's happened you haven't had enough time to set that sort of standard set that sort of minimum okay i have to hit 5k every single month and then what happens is you're going to go back down to zero so in your mind you're going to be thinking this is a lot of money oh my god and what our brain does if we're at, the, at that sort of stage we tend to lower ourselves to our base standard so what i mean by that is you spend that 5k on, on gucci you spend that 5k one way or another even if you don't even even if you're not aware of it which is crazy we have like a, a thermostat read psycho cybernetics if you don't know what i mean but we have a, a mental thermostat as to what the base standard is so if this is a lot of money to us in the beginning then we're going to spend it we're going to go back down to our base standard which is like 1k so the reason why becoming a closer first or, an, or a setter first is because you can sustainably raise that standard over time so obviously when you're starting out you're going to be at zero but then let's say your first month you manage to do pretty well you do i don't know you earn one to two k in commission which is nothing crazy but there you go one to two k let's say the second month you go for you, you hit 2.5k and bearing in mind now 60 days has gone by 60 days for your mind to get used to earning one to two to 2.5k uh remotely so your mind is going to lock in that standard and then let's say in the third month you really hit things off you, it, you get into full stride and you just made your first 5k month now that's better that's way way better than starting out from zero and then just hitting 5k in one day that's the same this is the same reason why this mental model is the same reason why lottery winners they go broke in a matter of years because they're not used to making that amount of money in such a short time it's because their mind defaults to their base standard and then therefore they think it's too much money or it's a lot of money and then they just they, they use it stupidly so i hope that makes sense this is why i prefer you guys to choose this route of starting a not starting a business of if you're a beginner getting into high ticket closing or high ticket setting um i think it's just a way to do it now and uh yeah hope you enjoyed this video hope this made sense if you disagree comment it down below i'd love to hear your thoughts i don't really care but uh hope you enjoyed this video anyway uh, if you are serious about becoming a high ticket setter or closer this year and you know you want to change your life and do it this way then link in this is in the description to book a call so i won't keep, keep it for too long hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one